Okay, so by now, since you see the the eye pendant, you probably have figured out it's Robo Guide time. So let's go ahead and get to Robo Guide uh, back to where we started the last time. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Get rid of the little zoom. Here we are. Okay. Remember how to get to here? Hit select. That's and you save this little program. I named mine a a one test. We're ready to enter it. When we enter it, we come back to where we were at, right? So now I need you to go ahead and make sure your cursor's down on end. All right, because if it's any place else, you're going to make a mistake. And you have to start over. Your user frame will disappear. Your user tool will disappear. You'll have to go back and get those. So make sure that you're at the end. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start working on our motion commands. And today, all I'm asking you to do is a couple, three commands. We're going to be starting at our origin. So go ahead and, and jog your robot in world. In world. Go ahead and jog your robot in world uh, to the position that you want. So right now, let's just take the outside corner of our box. This will be the back corner, all right, of the box. And we're, we're there. Once you get there and you're happy with it, Let's record it. And the way we're going to record it, we're just going to push on point. You need to do all these in fine today. Okay, 100% fine. You're going to do a JP 100% fine. And there it is. It's recorded. Congratulations. You got your first motion. This is the origin. Now, what I want you to do is move out to the corner of the box in the X position, in the X direction. So that's away from our robot, so it would be a positive. Now, I probably need to slow down just a little bit to get back to the corner. We'll come back just a little bit. Not quite that much. Right there. I'm happy with that. If I get that, I would be a happy camper. So I'm at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and record that position as point number two. I'm going to say extra fine. And we're very good. We've taught it. The little J up here, you see J at P. That at sign means you just taught that position. You just taught that position. Congratulations. Now what we want to do, we want to put a point above our box, kind of in the center of our box, okay? So let's jog our robot up. So we're going to go Z plus. And we're going to be just, how high is that? Let's go a little bit more. That's probably good, don't you think? We're going to pull it back towards the robot. We're going to go in the Y position. We're going to go Y positive. And when you think you're in the middle of the robot or in the middle of that box, you're, you're good. Okay, wherever you think the middle is. But I want it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and, and Z it up just a little bit more. There we go. So now you can see that we have a, a, an origin. We moved out to here. Now we've got to come up over an obstacle. And that's what we're doing right now. We're coming up over that obstacle. All right. So we have something that's setting here. You know, it may be uh, another tool, another part that we have to come up over. Okay. So you're kind of in the middle of the box. You're kind of happy with that. You know, I may need to go back just a little bit on my X to be in the middle. Let me go just back just a little bit. There we go. That's kind of the middle, I guess. Looks like it. All right. So we're going to record this position. We're going to do fine. 
there you go. We've got our origin. We got our first point. Now we're up above the obstacle. Now we're going to come back down to this corner right here. That corner is where we want to end up. So let's jog our robot. We're going to go, uh, let's see. Let's get it down so I can see kind of what we're doing. I went the wrong direction. Let's go down. We're getting kind of close. That's good enough. Let's go in the Y direction. That's pretty close right there. Now we're going to go in the X back towards the robot. Uh, what do you think? Is that pretty close? Let's do Z down a little bit. I think I'm going to need the Y minus just a tad. Y. Let me slow it down just a little bit more. Whoa, I'm way off now. Okay, I believe we're pretty close to the corner. We're going to Z down. I'm going to go in just one more click. No. There we go. I'm happy with that. I'm going to record it. So make sure that make sure your cursor's down here. If you're back up here somewhere, you're going to override it. Do not do that. I mean, it's not the worst thing that ever happened. You can go back and fix it, but let's try not to make a mistake on our first day. So I want it on fine. And by golly, there it is. Now then, I am going to just record that point again. Okay, so I'm just gonna record it a second time. And I'm gonna physically come up here now. I'm gonna come across and I'm going to change that to one. And then I'm going to enter it. Now, what that's done is take me back to the origin. So I left the origin. Now I'm going back to the origin. So I went one, which is the origin, moved out to two, up high, down low, back to the origin. So let's try it. So we're ready to try this program now. All right. So let's get our little cursor back over where it belongs. And let's take it down one. And now we're where we need to be. Okay. Everything looks good. You're happy. You got a little, little program here. So let's go ahead. You got your user frame. You got your tool frame. You got your motion. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is come over here and hit step. Now, do you see this little step lit up up here? When that lights up, that means you're in step mode. We can turn it off. We can turn it on, we can turn it off, we can turn it on, okay? So now we're ready to, to do our step mode and we're going to test this program. Now you probably wanna run it about 30, something like that. We're at the end of our program. So now we're gonna hit our shift key and we're gonna hit forward. Now, do you see the cursor move to one? We're going to hit forward, now it moved to two. We're going to hit forward, now it moved to three. You're going to hit forward, and now it's back to the, the original position. Okay? And you should be able to see that. You're going to hit it, now it's out to four. Now you'll notice it made an arc. The reason that made that arc is because we're not in linear, we're in jog. And so it's going to make an arc. It's going to come up. It may go down. It may go out. Whatever the computer thinks is the fastest way to get there. Okay. We're ready to try it again. We're up. Ooh, we're at the top. We've come over our obstacle, whatever it was. Now we're down. We're back down. And we've completed our first program. Congratulations. Good job. So your assignment, I need you to create another, another program. 
And in that program, I want you to make sure you have a user frame. I want you to make sure and have a tool frame. I want at least four or five points. I just want you to do a simple box, uh, come up over something, uh, something, maybe jog in and jog back out. Just create a simple pro program of five or six steps. And so this is a really important part of what you do. If you're going to ever be part of the ro uh, industrial robotic, you know, industry career, you're going to have to write programs. That's what you do. You have to write programs to move a part from one place to another and release it, come back, get another one, move it, called pick and place. You're going to have a spray gun that's painting something. You're going to have to move it over, bring it back, move it over, bring it back. Uh, you know, if you're welding, you're going to weld a bead and then you're going to come back and weld beside it or, you know, you're going to have to be able to program. So this is the beginning of programming. You have step one and now you have step two. Let me get out of all this stuff. And we'll get to the end. So you have an assignment. Your assignment is to create a user frame, tool frame, program with motion in it. it has five or six steps and then be able to step through it. Send me a video of it, of you stepping through your, your program. Uh, you can record on Zoom and then send it to me uh, over e email or you can send it to me through Headrush Evidence, whatever you choose. So that's it for the day. And, you know, I guess that's it until next time. All I can say is best of luck.